Today I'm going to show you how to get this Ashes of War ability in Elden Ring. It's called Barricade Shield and it allows blocks that would normally break your poise. It doesn't use much of your mana and it is extremely necessary for any shield build in my opinion. Now many guides out there will tell you to get it from this guy, the Bloodhound Knight Darawil in Forlorn Hound Evergold. But this is no longer true. You actually now need to get it from Knight's Cavalry in the Weeping Peninsula. This terrifying wraith upon his steed will have you shaking in your plate boots at first, but trust me, he isn't that bad and is worth taking down for this insanely good ability. Now first I want to show you how to get to the Knight's Cavalry and his location. Just make sure that when you do arrive that you do check out the campfire here so you can rest and make it nighttime as he only does appear at night. The secret to beating him is recognizing his different attacks and knowing when to stay away and when to charge in for a few hits. I had luck with charging in, staying on his side that he wasn't swinging on and beating him down until he would fall from his horse, then beating on him a bit before he would resummon his steed, in which I would repeat. The most important thing though is that you simply stay back when he is swinging up for a big attack. He is super noticeable when he's about to do an attack, so it's pretty avoidable. And of course, don't forget that you can hit the B button and hold it down to get a charge from your steed and get out of the situation quickly. Now, I like to stay locked on to him because this is pretty fast moving combat because both of you are going to be mounted. So I like to stay locked on so I can see where he's at at all times. I can create some distance. I can charge in and attack when I want. And I thought it was overall not a very hard fight. It may take you a couple of tries depending on your skill level, especially if you haven't practiced a lot on your steed. It may take a few tries. But since there is a campfire nearby, it doesn't make it hard to respawn and try again. Just make sure you understand that he is only going to show up when it is night time. Now once you take them down you will have access to activating the barricade shield which is an ashes of war and what it does is it hardens your shield meaning you can deflect heavier attacks without losing your poise. Now rolling can get really difficult with heavy armor and this ability makes blocking much more viable in many more situations. Now when you use it it does give you a buff at the top of your screen. It lasts for roughly 20 seconds before you'll have to reactivate and do it again. It works the best in my opinion when you activate and use it right before a big major attack is going to land. Overall, I think this ability is absolutely necessary if you're trying to make a shield build because of its ability to deflect back big major hits from some big epic bosses. It's a real game changer for anybody using a shield and I highly recommend that you go and seek it out. It's going to make playing with your shield build that much more comfortable, that much easier, and just makes more sense when you're out trying to block some big major attacks. I just have trouble rolling because uh, until I work up certain skill sets, I'm not able to really roll very fast with all the armor that I'm wearing, and this ability really allows me to play in a way that I really want to play, which is doing a lot more of blocking and a lot less of rolling. Overall, Elden Ring is super fun, and I've always found that, you know, just going out and exploring this world and finding different things, and I mean, Castle Morn is right beside this location, so if you're headed here anyway, I highly recommend checking out this optional dungeon that is to the south of the location that I've shown here. It's got a whole quest line. It's really cool and it's a fantastic dungeon or castle just out in the middle of nowhere and it's a lot of fun to explore and conquer and it does have a really cool boss at the end. So definitely check out Castle Morn and it's a good place to learn and practice your barricade shield ability so that you can get used to it and kind of get the feel for it and when to activate it and all that kind of thing. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Much more Elden Ring content coming. I'm really loving this game. It's super difficult but it's so rewarding and let me know down in the comments down below your adventures in Elden Ring. Are you having fun? Are you playing it? Are you gonna play it? Or why you're not interested in it? But I don't think you'd be watching this video if you weren't interested in Elden Ring at all. Or if you're using the Barricade Shield, let me know how you're using it and what you think its largest benefits are in the comments down below. Of course, drop me a like and subscribe for more RPG content that includes MMORPG and RPGs in general, and of course Elden Ring. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming.